Hello everyone and welcome back to another lesson in our course and in this lesson I'm going to talk about um, Curador which is the sim system we're going to work with and I'm using here a slide from IBM's website which is fantastic um, I'm going to go through the main main parts and some architecture of Curador and uh, Curador is, is one of the most uh, widely used and known uh, SIEM systems. Yeah, it's been it's been like this for quite a bit, um, and I think it's a fantastic SIEM solution for uh, m for many organizations. Um, of course, each each solution, each SIEM solution has its own uh, pros and cons. But Curator is great because it it comes with a lot of components that are already built in, which you can utilize in your um, correlation and, and anal analysis needs, uh, primarily being uh, SOAR, which is uh, automation and incident response. And you have endpoint analytics, you have user behavior analytics, you have cloud support and use of threat intelligence, which is everything is built in into Curator. And basically it supports all of the important features of, of detection it, it, it grants you visibility, detection, investigation, and response. Um, it, it comes with a decent amount of out-of-the-box rules. Um, of course, you'd, you'd have to tune those based on your own organization needs and thresholds. But that's uh, going to be covered in a later part of the, of the course, more later. And basically, the one of the one of the best features of Curator, in my opinion, is that you have an app store uh, built in, and you can basically download all of those additional add-ons that help make your administration and analysis function of Curator more streamlined and easier de uh, delivered. So, I, uh, one of the most important things we need to understand about Curator before we start working with it is what kind of components we have on Curator. So like we said on the on the previous lesson, you have the log collection and you have the actual SIM solution itself. So let's skip to this slide here. And as we can see uh, down at the, at, the, at the right here, so Curator has uh, a few main components and the most important ones are going to be the event collector, the event processor, and the console itself. I'm not going to go um, and explain about the flow collector and processor because uh, based on my experience, so those are not always used and they only fit for certain or organization with cert certain demands. So I'm not going to go uh, into depth about those two. So basically the way Curator works is you have your all of your data sources, right? And the data sources, they are sending logs onto the event collector. And the event collector is doing some functions on the logs, mainly parsing and indexing. And then it transfers those logs into the event processor, right? Event processor is the component that performs correlation and rule analysis on the logs. And then it sends the, that information onto the console, which um, in some capacity displays that information to the user interface uh, along other functions, right? So here we have um, the components more in depth. So as you can see, you have your, your, uh, your logs, your flows, and your vulnerabilities, all of that being ingested by the SIM, and it outputs offenses and information about your assets. And you can also do searching, reporting, and dashboards, which is what we've talked about. And in this slide, this is a very important one, you can really see how all of the components um, relate to each other. And as you can see again, you have log sources, they feed logs to the event collector, that which feeds uh, the logs to the event processor and which feeds all of the relevant information to the console. Now in the left side here, we have the app host, which is an external device that uh, sits in the deployment as well. 
And this is a dedicated component to download all of your applications and and run them on that device. And we will go more in depth about that in later parts of the course. This is just a brief introduction. But Curator knows how to do all of those uh, things. It knows how to uh, work with different kind of components very, very intuitively. And you can also deploy high availability. So for example, if one of your event processors or consoles is, is going down, you can have a secondary appliance that uh, kicks kicks into gear when when that happens, so that you basically don't have any any downtime. That that's too bad for you. And um, you also have licensing, but we're not gonna talk about that. Um, this is more sales kind of uh, things. But at the next uh, chapters, we're really going to see how all of those components. Uh, talk to each other in a practical way, mainly from the user interface. And we're also going to see how to install Curator. Um, you can download it for, for, for free from IBM's website. And I'm going to show you how to do that in, in the next lesson. Uh, so with that being said, let's see how to install Curator and how to configure it for first time run. I'll see you then, guys.